Hello guys and welcome back to uh, the next episode of Urban Design on City Skylines with me Praised. Now, last episode we finished on working on the suburb of Chaston right here in front of us. Uh, I got a lot of good responses uh, from all of you and especially with the suggestions made to the interchange around over here. I took it all into consideration, I did a lot of playing around, and I came up with a solution. And as you may see, a lot of people have actually been suggesting to use the true lands on the roundabout, and that's exactly what I did. And in all honesty, it didn't work. I still had a lot of build up on this side coming from the main downtown area, and I was clogging up onto the bridge. and. Um, yeah, it just wasn't working. Essentially, what the problem was, a lot of there's too many people coming from Arlington over here, and they were using the roundabout, which was clogging up this area over here, just in order to get to the exit point to jump over here to this bridge. Um, so that was the main cause of the cloggage over here. Um, I did have another really fantastic. Uh, 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 what do you call it, um, suggestion uh, by a person on the comments as well to saying that to scrap the whole roundabout pretty much and to make a connection uh, with the true avenues on either side that way you split it up a little bit more um, now I did think about that however I I really did like that suggestion however the original suggestion um, from a YouTuber was to start implementing perhaps a roundabout um, connection from the highways and that's exactly why I wanted to keep the roundabout so that at least I've got one roundabout which is a different type of solution in my city excuse me uh, yes yeah, so that was the main reason why I wanted to keep the roundabout um, and all in all, I think it's working now very well, and that's because I did a slight modification. Okay, so, first of all, instead of this being the only ramp which can lead into Chaston over here, so they come off this bridge, they go all the way around the roundabout, and then down into the Arlington, Chaston area. Um, what I've done is, if they continue going straight on the highway, as this car and motorbike have, they've got an exit over here, which ends up right around over here. And then they can utilize this as an exit point to either going to Caulfield or into Chatston. So that's working absolutely beautifully. It stays a little bit of pressure from the other ramp because every single car that uses this will ease the pressure over there. So, however, the biggest addition that I have made was, as you may have noticed, is this little highway ramp which comes off from outside from Arlington. It's got a little bit of intersection over here, but this is so very rarely used by vehicles jumping across that I decided that it's the best place to uh, implement this area. If you'll excuse me again. <coughs> I've got a little bit of a sore throat. I think I'm coming down with something, but I'll try and <coughs> do the best that I can. All right, so yeah, what I've got happening here is all the vehicles that are coming out of Arlington, they can jump straight across, go underneath all the way over here, and then they can jump on this ramp which goes above the um, the roundabout in this section, and then essentially joins up with this ramp, which was the original ramp from the roundabout, and it just makes it for a real nice and smooth transition as you can see. We're having no issues, and as you can see, just look how many vehicles are using this ramp, and all these vehicles that are using this ramp were essentially using this roundabout in this section right here, uh, which was causing the blockage. So we've fixed that problem. Let me guys know what you think. Um, I think it's pretty clean. I don't think this area is specifically true or very realistic, this whole intersection on this roundabout, but the way that it's working i'm actually really happy with it so i'm gonna keep it for now uh let me guys know what you think yeah i hope you guys like it 
All right, so the next thing is I've taken a comment from you guys and did some work actually off camera. So let me just get into the game. All right, so what I've done is taken a few of your guys' comments and started doing some naming. So over here, we've got the main entrance into our bay. We've got Santa Cangelo Harbour Bridge. Really like this name. I think it's a great name for the main entry into our bay. And over here, I've got the Humber Bridge. So these two bridges in this small little section are the Humber Bridge. This is the Gemini Bridge right here. I've got uh, this episode we're going to be working on Ashby. So this whole little block of land will be Ashby. So that's this coming this episode. This little area over here is called Peace Haven. And this little cove over here, I've called it as Peace Haven uh, Cove. Uh, over here we've got the Mersey Gateway. There we go. So that bridge, there is Mersey Gateway. Uh, over here we've got Dartford Crossing. There you go. So this main bridge over here, which connects from between Hawthorne and Carnegie. Uh, to our industrial area over here of the inlet oil fields and hemlock oil fields and Grimsby Town West End It's all connected by the Darford crossing over here <coughs> uh, This bridge is still yet to be named so I think I'm still going through the comments uh, Filing through them to find names if you guys have a name, please uh, leave a comment though uh, Over here I've named this cove as hemlock cove going towards with uh, the whole hemlock oil fields so yeah that's why I did that and uh, what else okay yeah up here I've named this whole area right over here this is called Elwood so we'll have to start developing that in, uh, very soon I've laid out a few basic roads around here where we can start perhaps start working on something but um, I'm not too sure yet how to do everything, uh, so this is just a temporary guide, but yeah, for Ashby, this is a definite, the way these roads are going to be, the main roads surrounding it, so that's all going to stay, and yeah, I think what we're going to have to do is perhaps create an entry point into Ashby off this highway, um, because we do have the space around over here to make an in, uh, entry point uh, via a ramp and to perhaps have like a main route or a main road which goes through to join up onto this avenue. So yeah, that's the work that I've done off camera since last episode. Also, as you may see, um, the graphics have changed a little bit. Uh, what I've done is installed the um, no cloud uh, mod. So we have no more fog in clouds. And um, I've also started using the uh, European theme, uh, lighting theme. So let me guys know what you think. Do you like the the previous uh, lighting which I was using, which was pretty much none. I was using the none theme. So just the general basic game. Uh, uh, the, the colors look definitely a lot more vibrant, which I like. Um, but it may not suit it to everyone's flavor. I think it might look a little bit too juicy, the colors. Um, but I'm happy to use it for the time being. Let me know what you guys think. I tried using the temperate color, but it was too dark. It reminded me too much of um, Cities in Motion. That game was very, very dark, um, even during the day, and I didn't like that. I loved the game, but I didn't like the uh, how dark it was. All right, so... Let's get straight into this episode then, eh? We're going to start working on Ashby. And so first things first, I think, is we're going to start zoning out some residential areas. So without actually affecting, I don't want to make it off the road. I don't know where I want to connect to this main road yet. So what I'm going to be doing is working off a grid that we can create off from Chadston. There we go. So we don't want to get any closer than that. To Chatston, so we can make perhaps like some sort of a border. <coughs> okay, so uh, perhaps a street which will go like this. 
in this direction. Maybe a cul-de-sac around over here would be nice, eh? If we can continue this out further, we can push this out to here. And now let's see if we can just see where we can connect perhaps a main road. I think this will be a good area. Yeah, that will be a good area. So now what I'm going to do is try and just allow so that we can give ourselves a potential highway connection before this highway starts going up. So what I'll do is just quickly remove these trees from here. There we go. I'm going to push this forward out a little bit further here. And now, um, from this, I think we could start, yes, we should start using, actually I'll use the curve tool for that part. And perhaps we can join these up, Chatston, we can join Chatston and Ashby up together via a park, footpath park. So we'll just go back around over here like so. No, that's wrong. That's better. Okay, so we've got that. Now, the next thing that I wanted to do is make sure that this main road is only a one-way. So that we can avoid any real complications. Okay. And so, with this main road now, what I have to do is start making this highway connection. So, let's just build this highway. Um... So somewhere from around over here, I'm going to try and make a straight segment. And from this straight segment, now I think I'm going to use the curve tool to go down as far as I can. Something that's nice and smooth. And from here, let's see how far can we push this out to somewhere where we can actually be a nice smooth connection like that. Okay. All right, so I'm happy with that. And now with this, I'm going to have to make the actual connection into the town, like so. Push this up a little bit further. And now I'm hoping that there's going to be no ramp in the way. Ah, yes, there is. So I'm going to have to make this slightly more acute than what I had initially planned. So let's just grab this out to here. No, that's still in the way. Okay, so just a tiny bit further up. Like so. And now I don't think we'll have any issues whatsoever with connecting this up. Like so. There we go. Alright, so that's our extra connection into Ashby. Uh, I'll fi fix this up with trees later, but for now... Perhaps we should see... Water is pretty good. It's actually all nicely connected. But what I'll do is make some extra connections. So that we don't have to worry about them at a later time. Uh, that was crooked. Well and truly crooked. Actually, let's make a temporary 550, was it? 550 and across, there we go, that's a better way of doing it, 550 and across, and this should be able to cover the whole area, and now I'll just push this through to here, temporarily, <coughs> wow that was crooked, wow, I'm totally off it at the moment, and my throat is really sore, wow. I got something. Ugh. Water does not seem to be helping. I don't know. I better get some soothers or some lozenges. All right, so we've got the base established over here. Now we need to, and we've got an exit point. So now we should be able to have no problems with electricity so I'll just zone this whole area up and we'll start seeing some development happening over here otherwise it will take forever and with that now I'm going to actually start thinking about how we can join this area up a little bit with some temporary roads like this there we go 
I think that's pretty good. Join another road which will come out to here. Perhaps we can make a little bit of a cul-de-sac around over here. Another cul-de-sac around over here. And another one, perhaps hopefully somewhere over here, like that. Now, is that good or not? I think I like that. Something very different than what we've been using in previous ep episodes and times. We'll make a real nice large cul-de-sac around over here. But we'll eventually make some sort of off connection from this. To join up to here. This can join up here. This can come out, out to there. And now I wonder if this is going to be enough to make a perfectly smooth angle. 11 units by 10 units. No. So I'm going to have to make this a one unit shorter. And then this should theoretically be 11 by 11 yes it is perfect with a 90 degree angle and from here let's see can we make a perfectly yeah perfect cul-de-sac like that join this road up to here can make a cul-de-sac around over here and one thing that I would wish that, that they would add or will add is like little round ending pieces if you're making cul-de-sacs that'll be a really nice addition I know that there were mods which added it uh, into SimCity 4. But it would be a really nice touch if they were to um, add that sort of a thing into this game as well. Okay, so... I'm just going to fill all this in because we do have quite a very good demand for residential. So, before we continue filling in this area though, what I have in mind is to place a park over here. And this park is going to essentially serve as a connecting piece uh, via footpath between this area of Chatston and Ashby over here. So I'm going to go into the footpaths tool. And wait, no, that's not what I wanted. So from here, I'm going to just jump across out to here and join up like that and perhaps from here we can even make a little bit of a smoother connection like this and if we go back into our parks I think we've got that large playground here yes we do and I'll just place that there we can perhaps zone in a couple of taller buildings over here and we'll go back to our footpaths and we can just join these areas up ever so nicely like that and we'll fill these areas in with trees eventually but first let's see how the development over here goes um, so our wow our pretty much demand has diminished so I think a bit of commercial on this main strip will be nice so that the people of Ashby have got actual commercial strips as well available to them. You know what? This whole long strip right here as well can be all commercial. And it's got me actually thinking perhaps we can go back and put this big park in here so that we can work off this big park to actually join up a few of these streets so we'll just extend this out to here uh, no that's not what I wanted I think that was a little bit too far out to there yeah that's fine and with that I think we might be able to just join up a nice smooth connection like that with these streets like that there we go and with this I'm just going to zone all of this up as a residential there we go we can start filling in all the in all the in-betweens as well with trees and all just make it look 
whole lot more completed. Um, over here, I'm just going to remove that little segment. <coughs> and right now, over here, make sure that I can have another connection like that. So that's another little connection, footpath connection between uh, Chesson and Ashby. Going to increase the speed simulation a little bit so that we can actually see some better progress happen now. All right, so um, I guess we can start working and progressing on the second half of Ashby as soon as this develops. And we'll be able to start actually adding more residential areas into the this area, given provided that we've got enough demand for for it. Okay. Uh, so let's see. We can push this out. Should this be a main road which just cuts straight through from here to here? I think that'd be a little bit too easy. I think that will be way too easy. So what I'm going to do is out to here. And you know what? I'm going to make a little one-way area. So this can come to here. This will be changed, obviously, anyway. But out to five and across. Now this can go straight and just join up in a straight line like that. And the same idea will happen over here, 5 by 5 and this will come straight and join up over here. And now all I need to do is just change the direction in which this one way street goes. There we go, so we've got a bit of a one direction road going on. There's no lights over here but there's lights over here, that's fine. Something a little bit different and next thing is this could be a little bit of a commercial strip right here in the middle. I reckon that would be nice. Uh, this area needs some electricity. So let's just connect some electricity up. Otherwise these guys will not survive. There we go. And hopefully the more commercial we'll get in, we'll get start getting a little bit more demand for residential as well. Okay, so let's start working on these streets of Ashby. I think around over here we'll have a cul-de-sac, but from this cul-de-sac we'll have a little segment which works off it in this direction. And this will also end in a cul-de-sac and end up finishing around over here. We can have a little bit of a cul-de-sac around over here as well. And now this can come out to here. I'll make this go out by 5 and come in by 5 and join up like so. And from here we can have another cul-de-sac which ends around there. Alright, so Ashby is really all about cul-de-sacs. <coughs> Cut this across in this direction. Uh, now we're going to have to join this up somehow. So what I'm thinking is... Push this out to 10 and 7. That's fine, I think. 10 and 7. Yeah, it's not a perfect circ uh, circle, but it's a slightly off shape, which avoids any symmetry. So yes, we'll stick with that. Now, uh, this road can come out to here, and let's see if we can make a road which goes slightly off in this direction, and now see if we can just push this out to here and join up like that. There we go, that's something different. Now we can make a cul-de-sac around over here, I think. But before we do, let's first, let's make a road which cuts across over here. One block further, please. Like that, and we'll make a cul-de-sac right there. Okay.
And now let's see. Oh, I think this is giving us an opportunity to make a road in the middle over here. Like so. There we go. Yes, that's worked out rather well. Very well indeed. And people are using this ramp, which is good to see. Um, but to finish this area off, we think I think we need to add a few more cul-de-sacs. Like this, into this area. And this one can come, come out to there. This one can come out to here. This one can come out to there. Alright, so. Ashby, very different. Less connections, more cul-de-sacs. And hopefully this will lead to some areas uh, within Ashby being a lot less uh, busy and being quieter, for example. So there'll be less traffic and it'll be more of a personalized neighborhood for people that live here. Right, the next thing is we have to provide some uh, facilities for the people here. So first things first is an elementary school over here and I'll add another elementary school uh, where over here no yeah no yes no I'm not sure right here maybe we could add three elementary schools it is a rather large area that would only be if I move this elementary school to here and then place another elementary school on this side so it covers this side of Ashby and place another one right over here or even somewhere over here I'm not sure that's the best spot now if we place that here that covers that area a little bit better and I'll place one right over here no here that gives us pretty good coverage not the best but I think I can deal with that so right over here I think it was better over here yep so there we go we've got another elementary school in we're gonna have to place a high school in now so I'll place it right in over here that covers everything so that's it perfect um, before we start going ahead and zoning around this high school what I want to do is add a few decorative trees around this just so that we make sure just to make sure that we don't end up covering this area with residential buildings next to the high school there we go <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to <coughs> excuse me I had a soccer field here, uh, well, I was, but it won't fit, so that's no good. Um, perhaps I can fit a dog park in. Let's see, dog park in somewhere. We need to fit a dog park right over here. I like dog parks. I think they're beautiful in this game, so we'll add quite a few of them. Another one over here. We'll add another one over here next to this high school. We can add another one right over here. Another one somewhere, if I can get it to snap. There we go. And what else? We've got some tennis courts we can potentially put in next to this area there we go we've got some tennis courts oh that's not right uh, let's just move it to that that's not right either move you facing this direction there we go that's better now the courts aren't actually underground 
Uh, I'll add some more nice decorative trees. There we go. And you know what? Just to make this not look so empty, just add a few of these bushes in. There we go. And on this side as well. Beautiful. And now, we still have low demand for residential, but our commercial has filled up very quickly. So I'm going to continue filling this area up with more commercial. But before we do, just in case, I'll add a park over here because if the park doesn't work out, we can always delete it. We can always remove it at a later time. Um, but for now, I'll also make people happy here with all the commercial buildings. And yeah, we'll just keep adding more commercial like that. So hopefully everything will be good around here. You can tell now, look at this Chadston, it's all nice and filled up with trees and housing. And you can tell that this is a completely new neighborhood. It's completely unfilled still. So, um, right, this area now needs services. We've been working on our elementary, but now we need some other services, such as uh, something like this. Does that cover everything here? No. It does pretty good coverage, though, I must say. That gives pretty good coverage. And where am I going to place a... Yes, I am going to place that there. Now, next thing, fire department. Uh, perhaps we should think about adding a larger fire department building here. That will definitely easily cover everything here. And that's what I'm going to do. Now thinking about this though, what I'm thinking is this would be more appropriate if I were to place you here and to place a park of the same side, the same type around over here. That looks pretty good I reckon. Yeah. So that's going to stay like that. Uh, next, so we got medical services. And as long as the main streets of this neighborhood of Ashby are covered, that's fine because the other areas will have probably larger services like medical centers and life centers. So um, that will eventually get slightly overlapped, especially like, uh, let's see if we can just de-click that. Uh, say this, this road right over here, if we can, as you can see, it's a bit gray. Um, that will eventually get over-covered or over overlapped by other services, so it shouldn't be a problem. Cemetery would be nicer. Huh? Let's add a cemetery. Right over here, next to the hospital. Uh, next to the medical clinic, I think so. There we go. We need one. And there it is. And I might add a crematorium as well, right next to it. That way it can operate quite effectively. Our commercial strip over here is really boomed, so what I'm thinking is perhaps we need to increase our commercial strip over here. Let's pause the game, remove these power lines for the time being. Can we actually just connect these power lines across like that? And will that give us extra space here? No. Yes, one here, a little block, that's it. Well, that's fine. I'll utilize that. Oh, I'm going to quickly also uh, upgrade this road right here. There we go, to something nice. This will hopefully help upgrade this area a little bit. Okay. Now, let's just keep zoning all of this area up. So, I think I want to add some more commercial zones over here. Uh, so, all this is going to be commercial. All this is going to be commercial. That way, right in the middle of Ashby, we've got some commercial zones for our residents. I think it's important. Before this area zones up, let's see if we can quickly put that sunken plaza in. I think that can help. There we go. Uh, this area can be commercial. This entry point can be commercial. There we go. This can be commercial. Actually, this whole area can be commercial. I'll remove that for the time being. Uh, this commercial, yes. 
There we go. That can be commercial. That can be commercial. Okay, I'm happy with that. So that means the rest of this whole area will be residential. So let's just quickly gr grab the paint bucket tool and start filling everything in. All the services that we need are in except for one and that's the police coverage. I don't think we have added our police coverage in just yet. But that will be in next. Uh, let's just quickly remove this little section. We don't want to fill that up. Okay. Uh, let's just add a few more nice decorative trees that we've been using normally around the city, around over here. And I can perhaps place one or two of these slightly larger ones as well. There we go. Next area that I need to zone is all of this and this. And Ashby is now really starting to take shape. Wow, look at all these area over here not connected with electricity, but not to worry. I will connect it right now. This is just the temporary connection. There we go. Just so that Ashby can actually start hit hit the ground running. I think uh, we can add also another park around over here. One of my favourite parks because it's easy to connect footpaths from. Like so. And the rest of this area also. I'm just going to quickly paint bucket with more commercial. We, I think we really do need to expand our commercial. Um, or even though it's at low at the moment, in order to build our demand for residential. Um, now let's see, police coverage, non-existent. So let's see what we can do about that. I think a police building right here covers everything pretty well. And that's what I'm going to do. So we got police coverage as well everywhere now. Right, so now while we wait for this area to now start developing uh, fully, we have no demand for everything and we got very low demand for everything. So essentially we've reached a stage of this city where progress is going to be slow um, and hopefully it won't be too slow. If it becomes arduous and tedious, then what I'm going to do is perhaps start doing a few upgraded or next development of suburbs off camera. And I'll come back and I'll explain everything that I did. And then we can perhaps even start focusing on for the next few episodes, like on little design aspects. Like, for example, uh, this island right over here. Uh, on this island, which I want to do very closely uh, in the very near future. I want to place a hotel if I can find it. Just bear with me for one second. What's that? I haven't seen that. That must be a new tower which uh, building which I've just downloaded not long ago. Okay, so that's going to have to be placed somewhere into the city. Uh, here it is. So the Burj Al Arab. This is what I want to place right here on this island um, as a little bit of a getaway destination. So yeah, that's, that's the kind of plan that I want to do in the next one of you or one or two episodes is to start working on this little half of the island start adding a lot of trees making it look nice and like a resort like island um, with this hotel seven star hotel placed over here but facing in a better direction obviously so yeah that's the plan but we'll come back and continue working on Ashby because this area needs to be uh, well, completed. I want to complete this uh, this neighborhood or suburb before the end of this episode. Um, as you guys can see, this whole area is now just, just joining up really beautifully. Um, and it's got, as I usually say, or I may have not said it actually on camera, but your highways are like your main arteries. And it's got this like main artery running right here through your city. And I've got another one right here. And it's just joining everything up so well. So I'm really happy with that. And it just looks, everything is just joining up so nicely. That's that's the main thing that I'm really happy with. 
It's just, yeah. So, and this area still looks very, very vacant, doesn't it, compared to the rest. So, you know what, we'll start going ahead and filling areas in. And so, I know you may have seen this last episode with what we did with Chester, but I want to just reiterate of how we do um, the filling in of areas. So, let's just go straight into it. So, let's just find the trees that I've been using. So, this tree, this is the, um, the small beech tree, which I've been using to put on the side of my highways. I like to use this as it gives off a really nice green color. And it's not too big and it's not too small. It does come in a few varying, varying sizes, but nothing too drastically different from when it comes to uh, one another. When it comes to uh, comparison, uh, having a look at uh, a direct comparison of the trees that come out of this. So, yeah, there we go. That's what I like to put, and because noise pollution is a thing in this game, that's essentially what these trees are doing, um, is they're serving as a protection. The trees don't completely block out sound pollution, but they do a pretty good job in minimizing it, at least a little bit. So that's essentially the idea of what it is that I am doing with these trees next to the highways, especially when they pass next to residential zones. Okay, so, now that we've built a solid wall of trees, row of trees, I'm going to go into our tree with leaves. Now, this tree I like to use because it comes in different, different, different um, colors and sizes. They have a lot, much greater variance, but they also match with some of the uh, parks that I'm implementing, such as the large playground and um, this park, which I can easily connect footpaths with. Now, I don't know what's going on with my mouse. My mouse is just going nuts and double-clicking easily everywhere. I think I need to up change my mouse. It's been used for way too long. Um, remove these trees. That's actually in a residential zone. There you go, so we'll just keep placing a few of these in. There we go. And it's good to see that these footpaths in between these neighborhoods is definitely being used. There we go, so that's also a plus to see. Okay, so let's just keep filling these areas in. There we go. So as soon as we finish with these trees, we'll start using the other trees, um, just to which we've been using previously, just to change the height a little bit. So it's not all uniform to uniformed in terms of size. Now what's up with my mouse? Why is it doing this? It's so annoying. Must be pressing it in a weird way. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll worry about that another time. For now, let's just keep placing trees at random. There we go. And all, all of a sudden, look at this. This whole area is now starting to look like it's been underdeveloped. It's been developed for a lot longer than what it actually has. And that's what I like to see. There we go, a few extra trees in here. Uh, this area will start figuring out how where to place trees once it actually starts filling in completely because at the moment it's a bit impossible to see exactly where I can actually fill everything in or fill things in. Uh, let's just remove that. Perhaps we can add like some sort of a uh, plaza or something different around over here. Yeah, let's just add that. Something a little bit different. We'll add some more buildings. Uh, sorry, commercial buildings. And we'll add some footpaths just to join up to these areas like so. Okay, beautiful. Now, I'm just going to jump back into the tree tool. And now, the pine trees, what I've been using 
to split the height up a little bit between the normal trees that we use as fillers and uh, uh, for our parks in between um, parks and you know highways so I like to place them relatively randomly uh, well spaced out so it just looks like as if you know it's been naturally put there okay there we go a few more around over here there we go now somewhere in between over here perhaps we can also fit a few in if you can find a spot sometimes in between these houses you can just find a spot where you can also just pinpoint them in so that's what I like to do it kinda breaks up the um, the connectivity of each home next to each other there we go and perhaps another one over here somewhere there another one over here there we go this long segment can definitely do with a couple if we can just find spaces where they can fit can we get one space here there we go perfect so there we go look at that that's beautiful now you can see how much this area has looked more developed compared to this area so that's essentially what I've been trying to do now the next segment of expanding of this neighborhood is the work of our metro system so uh, we do have a metro system over here in Caulfield and in Chatston and essentially what I want to do is make sure that we can add extra connectivity points so that Ashby hasn't been left out so what I'm thinking is Ashby is going to have two metro stations and so the first being somewhere over here uh, let's see right over here will that be good or will that create too much pollution sound noise pollution here <laughs> got a feeling that it can create a lot of noise pollution so perhaps the best idea would be is to place it over here somewhere on the corner within uh, the actual commercial uh, district so we can actually create a bus lines running within Ashby which will be servicing the metro system yeah that's it so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing so the idea is now where to place this metro line so it's easy to connect to so I think like that will be the best spot somewhere around over here or somewhere right here in the middle that way I can create perhaps a footpath that comes across as well there we go so that's all good I'll turn you off for the time being so because we're gonna have to connect it and I'll probably do this connection off camera and then describe uh, the way I've connected it to the system or we might do it this episode since I want to finish this episode this might be a long episode but uh, you guys don't seem to mind from what I've been seeing and reading um, so yeah let's actually you know what let's do this right now let's do it right now okay so uh, we're gonna start working on our public transport system within Ashby and hopefully this will allow in the meantime allow for the rest of the Ashby area to develop okay so uh, my thought thoughts are that I want to make a connection from Caulfield to Ashby so from here what I want to do is make a clear and smooth connection like this or a ramp that which exit exits like that and so if can I create a tunnel no that's I'm gonna to have to dig this tunnel deeper so this tunnel is going to have to go by, let's just say, oy. let's see, it will go down by 12, 
this usual 12 units and so will that be able to cut across no it won't I won't be able to cut across at this height will it how how deep is that who knows anyway I'm gonna push this further down another 12 units and this should be able to pass yes without any problems so I'm just gonna continue this out by 11 units by 11 units that's a nice smooth transition our corner for a metro line all right now I'm gonna continue this by another 10 units and then go up by 10 or 12 units actually and then we're gonna continue this line to go straight for as long as possible out to say somewhere around there and with this I'm gonna just try and make a smooth connection say how does that how would that look so if we go from there do straight line to around say there and join up to there what's that leave us 85 degree angle 26 by by how much by 26 by 25 that's actually pretty good I'm gonna keep it like that there we go so you do have a quick little access point like that all done and ready to be connected now I'm thinking if we should connect this this Arlington uh, this spot in Chatston I think we should I really do think that we should but before we do um, see I really should develop Elwood so that we can actually cre create a network which goes straight to Elwood and then we'll eventually go through to Oakwood or I can make a metro in Oakwood right now and then from Oakwood it can connect to Velez and then later we can connect from Oakwood to Levante now there's an idea alright so we're gonna go straight straight ahead and do this awesome so Metro station right here. Bam, done. And we're going to leave it turned on for the time being. Why not? Now I'm going to push this uh, line to go straight. Where are we? Yep. So Ashby's right here. So I can make this go actually straight all the way through, out to say around over here. Push this out to say around there. Make this come a little bit closer. Now we can make a pretty decently pretty decently smooth corner like that all right so now we need to make a connection to Velas from Oakwood okay so I think we will have more than enough space to do this so what I'll do is a little segment like this and now a little segment which will join up like so and from this we'll be able to make a bit of a loop how fantastic is this going to be? Make this go straight. So that's going to be ending up go straight into Levante. That's fine. But before it reaches Levante, we don't want to go to Levante right now at this specific moment. What I want to do is make a segment which goes in this direction. All right, so what I'm going to have to do is make it straight like this, remove this little segment, and now I'm going to build the tunnel which goes in this direction, like that, okay. And so now, I'm just going to make this go a little bit longer in terms of straight, going straight, there we go. Make this go a little bit longer with the straight direction and from say somewhere around over here I think that's good no from there that will be better perfect and I'll make this just jump straight across and actually you know what we can make another metro station somewhere within these this shopping area um, and that can actually be right near this university actually right next to this university we could definitely do with a metro station um, if I can find a nice spot. If I can find a nice spot. I think that's all taken right there. 
that's close enough to the university oh yes and so what I'm gonna do is make this go straight make this go straight for a little bit longer as well this out to say there and now this is just the simple process of connecting a smooth corner like that and I can push this to go all the way straight across say out to here and now all I'm going to do is connect that up like that. So Vela's is connected like that as well. But more than anything, that is a very large loop. And what I want to do is make sure that we can have a shorter connection. Um, yeah, because that's just very, very long. So that connects up to here. I want to make sure that we can also do slightly smaller loops. So we got Oakwood, Ashby, and Caulfield. So from this university, perhaps I can make this end up going straight. Yes. So what I'm going to do is... This doesn't provide the opportunity to jump off and jump back here. No, it doesn't. So I'm going to have to create that opportunity over here. Yep. So from here, we're going to have to start working our little imagination caps, thinking caps. There we go. So that's done like that. I'm going to have a little strip which goes directly across like this, even with this, if I can, that is. So if, in order to do that, I'm going to actually make it like this. No clipping, please. Okay, like that. Now with the clipping, this out to... This out to join up over here, like so. Okay. And now what I want is a little straight segment which goes across like this. This can now join up to here. This out to there okay so that's nice now the next segment that we need to join up is here so uh, what I want to do is no clipping out to here with clipping we'll use the uh, freeform curvature there we go now the difficult part is over here so from here out in this direction Make this join up with this. Like so. I think that's pretty smooth. And okay, so I'm going to push this forward out to here. Make a section which goes in this direction. And now from here to here, done. From here to here done okay and that's allowed me to make a much smaller loop in between Ashby, Chatston um, and Oakwood and the university also in Vela's okay so now I guess what we have to do is start working on our train lines uh, metro lines so what I'm gonna do is just quickly turn this metro station on what are you complaining about not enough workers well you still have many areas around here available for people to grow into, I believe. So hurry up and develop. We've got more people coming. Don't worry. Um, so metro lines, eh? Let's do this. So create a new line. So from here, we're going to go towards Oakwood. Okay. So from Oakwood to the university, from the university we're going to go, we're not going to go to Velez, we're not, we're going to go to this stop in Arlington, and then we're going to stop at this stop which is in Chatston, and then we're going to go back over here to Ashby. Alright, so with that done, uh, let's go into our metro line. 
and let's just change the color of this line to something that we haven't used wow this this is going to be so difficult to find a color that we have not used let's just change it leave it as purple yeah that's fine okay so we've got that line now operating all stations are on you're on i think you're on okay it's going to, going to be only a matter of time before these lines to start being fully utilized um, because especially in uh, Ashby, because we're going to have to connect uh, bus bus routes to this metro station. Otherwise, it's not going to be utilized enough. All right, so the next line is starting from Ashby as well. But this time it's going in the opposite direction because I like to create a clockwise and an anti-clockwise uh, line. Uh, so every every loop has, a, has true lines running through it and a clockwise and an anti-clockwise. I think it's the most effective solution because some areas might get clogged up and then empty by the time they get to the other sides. So this metro line now, if we can just change the color to say, no, we just use that. So yeah, that's fine. That color, I think. Okay. <coughs> and so now what I want to do or what I need to do is somehow find a way to connect this line out to Caulfield. Huh. And this will not be easy. We've got two lines coming across over here like so. Alright, so Oakwood, this university campus, Chadston, it's all connected. However, Caulfield is not connected with Ashby and I want it to be connected however this area around here is not entirely connected so unless I make a bypass I don't make this route connect to uh, this station in Arlington I just make it connect straight to here <coughs> which is actually a possibility and I'm actually going to investigate see if we can do this so say we'll start a line from around over here we'll use the straight tool small segment that goes straight and now down so by 12 units we'll cut through all of this like so but before we join that up I'm just gonna quickly come around over here join that up over here there we go now hopefully I will be able to make an offshoot over here. So say from over here, say like that. This can come out to say around over here. This can go straight now all the way up to here. And where do we need to go? Down there. So I'm going to push this down by one, one and 12 units across. Jump this across like so. Okay, and so from here now, uh, I want to go, how far are you deep? What, 12 meters down? What's that? You're just standard depth, yeah? Yeah, so what I want to do is push a metro line, which goes across over here like that. I think this will be able to create a nice smooth corner on either side. There we go. Perfect. And now with that, I'll be able to make another couple of lines. So I'm going to start in Ashby again. So create a new line. We're going to go over here. There we go. Did I just create a line over there or not? No. Okay, so start a line over here. We're going to go to here, then take this tunnel which goes underneath and joins up over here in, uh, no, not this Arlington stop, but this Arlington stop. Then it's going to go into Caulfield. Then it's going to go to past Chatston actually, and take this whole long route over here. And then finish up over here. Okay. So that's that done. 
we got the next metro line in and I'll make it a nice light blue color like that okay and now I want to create the same line but in the opposite direction so create a new line else to here add stop now it goes to Caulfield add stop goes to this stop in Arlington add stop then it does the long segment to this university campus and then it ends up coming back to Oakwood. Okay, and so with that uh, done, what I want to do is modify the line to say what color. What color have we not used recently? Uh, say Metro Line 27. What's a color that we have not used? Orange. Orange will do nicely. Okay. Perfect. So we got Metro Line 27 done. So the next thing that we need to do is work on our public transport system with the buses so that we can service this uh, metro line a little bit better in Ashby. So let's just jump out of the public transport utility. Uh, off. Okay, so now public transportation. Let's go into buses. Now, why are we above ground here? <clears throat> oh, no, we're just in the utility. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, so what I want to do is make, uh, before we do, is make a pedestrian footpath crossing right here. And now what I want to do is uh, make a bus route. So I'm going to make a bus stop right over here. Now this bus stop, actually no, get rid of it. We're going to make a bus stop right over here and goes in this direction. It jumps across over here goes through these neighborhoods there we go and eventually comes back over here there we go I think that's pretty good I think it covers many areas and now with this bus line though what I want to do is wow how many bus lines do we have um, I'm going to change this into a nice highlighted green. Now I'm going to have to create another bus line. Oh, this bus line is going to come through these streets. So what I want to do is stop over here. I'm going to make a stop over here. And make a stop around over here stop around over here and then one over here make it come into this commercial little district zone stop over here stop over say here then I'm gonna make it stop around over here and you're gonna go head back into town a little bit stop around over here here and then jump around into here stop over here and then end up coming around to here there we go I like that so we got two bus lines operating in Ashby and hopefully that's enough um, to support or to give enough support for this um, metro line I'm hoping anyway Hopefully uh, this will work very well. If the bus lines are not, uh, if the buses are constantly full and not taking passengers, we might have to add other means of um, or other routes in and around over here in order to um, split the load a little bit. Otherwise, uh, yeah, these buses are just going to keep struggling. Right, so. Over here, I'm thinking what I want to do is just increase uh, or continue developing our 
residential zone. So that's enough of the commercial districts in, in and amongst all of this. What I want to do is just quickly add uh, or just upgrade these roads like so. There we go. All these roads can be upgraded as well. They're now nicely and all, they're all nicely connected with this area. There we go. Upgrade all this. Wow, I can't believe I didn't upgrade all of these. There we go. Let's just upgrade it all. There we go. So that's all nice. All upgraded and looking nice. I'll upgrade that to a slightly different one. Oh, you know what? Now let's just upgrade it all the way. And let's see. So we got bus services. We got the metro service connected. And uh, we got schools. We got education. Um, we got fire. We got police and medical services. All covered. So that's all good. So I guess the only little thing that we can do now is just to keep, um, just now finish this area off. It's pretty much all now just all done and covered with all residential spots. There we go. So let's just uh, finish this area off as well. Let's. do our sound proofing around over here there we go we can Okay, so a few more areas around over here. This area. Oh, that hasn't been filled up. We've got to fill that up still. Okay, and there's still a few more areas over here, I think. And now we'll just add our pine trees in random areas or as random as I can possibly get it to be. There we go. Alright, so nearly done. A few more. And a few are in and amongst the buildings and the highway. There we go. Maybe one more over here. Another one over here. If we can get it in. There we go. A few in over here. And over here. Split up the height levels a little bit. And over here. There we go. And another one here, here, there we go. So, this whole neighborhood now of Ashby, it just shows you, it takes me probably, I don't know, let's just have a look at the time. I think it takes me about, yeah, a small little neighborhood like this of Ashby that we just developed small little expansion like this it takes me about roughly two hours so uh, at the beginning we were spending a lot more time on these neighborhoods because we were thinking about layouts and all that and now we've got pretty much just the layouts of like our main arteries which are the highways and then we've got some main roads which we're just slowly expanding upon and once you have the basics la basic layouts you can start pretty much just doing little fillers of little neighborhoods and suburbs and as you can see with these newer areas I don't like to use grids I'm trying to stay away from gri grids as much as possible I'm trying to create something a little bit more organic um, and more aesthetically pleasing as if an urban designer would and I hope you guys agree with me um, that Ashby has actually turned out pretty well Let's just say, yeah, all of Ashby, this whole area of Ashby. So this little area, I mean, 
how many people are living here? It's so we've increased the population over here by another four thousand, nearly five thousand. Probably it will be just be under five thousand. But with it, we've spent about two hours, or just roughly an hour and a half, and to properly utilize without actually further development planning just for actually filling in spaces once an area has been pretty much all filled in and done and ready um, it takes about yeah an hour and a half to two hours and um, what you get is a beautiful like neighborhood essentially um, I could have just done this in grids and it would have been all done in about half an hour um, but as you can see I'd like to take my time a little bit more make things look a little bit more nicer and now you if you were to come here you would not be able to tell that this neighborhood has just been developed it looks like it's actually been here for quite some time um, and actually it looks just more complete and part of the city it doesn't look bare bone so that's essentially what I'm trying to do um, and I think it's working out pretty well so I hope you guys agree with me on that. And um, of course, let me guys uh, know what you think about uh, the European filter that I'm using. Are you guys actually enjoying it? Are you liking the way it looks? It definitely makes, uh, from my personal point of view, I think it makes the game look a little bit more crisper. The colors are definitely a lot more vibrant and also without um, the, the cloud filter and the fog filter, it definitely looks a lot more vibrant and a lot more visible. Uh, like for instance, you can definitely see the skyline a lot better. Um, and if we look at this way, look at all this, this is what's worrying me. Look at all the space that we have left to expand into. This is going to be, wow, so much work. I can't wait to actually have this whole area filled out. I mean, look, we've just done about half, I reckon, of this area. Um, I might actually start thinking about doing Elwood. Or even, you know what, Elwood I might actually do off camera. Just for my own personal enjoyment, I can take maybe a little bit more longer, a bit more time and a bit more care on it. Um, although I have taken a lot of care with Ashby, I must say. I really have... Um, done a think I think personally I think I've done a pretty good job for squeezing in the amount of work that I have within the time um, Elwood is slightly larger though actually I think it's about twice the size maybe so maybe I might do this off camera off camera um, let me know guys perhaps you want uh, Elwood to be split like we did Chaston into two separate episodes um, if not I'll have Elwood done uh, in my own personal time and when we come back after Elwood, um, I can perhaps start thinking of what we can do around in this area or even start working on Peacehaven. And as soon as this whole area has been completed, Elwood and Peacehaven and it, potential new suburbs around here. So don't forget to keep commenting on um, uh, potential suburb names because I will be adding them just as Ashby has been the last one. I do have a couple of lists, uh, suburbs on my list right here in front of me. I will actually name them out. I've got Rafha, uh, Peacehaven used, Humberstone is one. Uh, Waltham is another, Salaby is another, Chesterfield and Kings Lynn. So I do have a few extras on my list. Um, if you guys have any others, please uh, comment them down below and I'll add them to the list and I'll just pick one at random. I've put the, um, pretty much I've put the names in a hat and I'll be just picking them out at random. So, uh, Peacehaven I kind of placed over here because I think it's actually a nice location for Peacehaven. It's kind of hidden away um, from the city and um, on a nice hill so you'll be able to have a nice peaceful view from up here. Um, Peacehaven actually, you know what, I'm thinking might be a slightly more exclusive neighborhood so where there might be a little bit more spacing in between housing um, and a little bit more trees. So that's something I'm going to try and experiment with and I'll do that on camera as well. And you know what, as soon as we're done with this whole area, I'm thinking this area will be the next to expand and then into, we could even start then start thinking about the Uto, um, embassy right over here. 
Uh, I've been holding back on that because I'm still running through ideas and scouting for uh, buildings and unique buildings to download. So um, I'm holding off on that a little bit. I would still want to know definitely for sure what it is that I want to do. Um, but yeah, in time, it will definitely happen. I know we're supposed to work on this area, but I've halted that for the time being. Um, as I just got a little bit more motivation to work on this area. Um, as uh, this whole area just lo was looking so beautiful to my eye as it all just joins up so nicely that I decided just to keep expanding it and I think I've done the right decision and eventually hopefully when this whole area expands and then we'll expand into this area um, that eventually this dam will start being utilized a little bit more the actual road on the dam and we'll join it into Richland and once that happens yeah this whole area will start developing as well so Lots of good and fun times ahead. Don't forget also to name a few more bridge names because I have used all the bridge names from the top of my head. I have another one, two, three, four bridges that need to be named. Actually, no, five. There's another one over here, six over here, uh, seven over here, so uh, eight over here, uh, nine over here, this big one, uh, ten, so yeah... There's still a few more bridges that need a few names, so don't be shy guys to leave a comment on potential names. Um, if possible, um, something bridge would be uh, a great name, something bridge, so give me a name, bridge. So um, I, do, I really did like the Warhammer Way suggestions and the Datford Crossing, but uh, also I'd like some more bridge names, because a bridge is a bridge. I do really do like um, when a bridge is called a bridge. Um, so yeah, that's this episode. It's dragged on for quite some time. We've got Ashby all nice and done. We're increased our income, I guess, a little bit, or at least it's, um, continued to stay positive, which is good, even though with expansion and you may have realized, have a look at this. We still have more demand for residential and more demand for commercial. So this is actually very pleasing for me to see and it gives us more potential to expand because I've realized that the more your city expands, the higher your population goes, the harder it gets to expand because you have less demand. Um, so yeah, slowly but surely we're filling in this map and hopefully we'll start really, you know, I don't know, within episode when we get to episode 100 i don't know if we will get to that episode if we might reach our limits by then hopefully not but um it would be good to see if we can reach that kind of episode and have like most of the city map or most of the map filled out because we still have all of this um to fill in as well so yeah let's just quickly jump into camera mode there we go and now in camera mode you can see, actually, you know what? This city is really looking lovely. I really do love it. You can see the, how the highway just cuts straight through the city over here, through all these suburbs. We've got a large uh, commercial district over here. Vellas, Levante, Oakwood, Rosewood, Arlington, Caulfield, Chatston. Ash, Ashby, it's all joining up so well together and Long Beach obviously, but Long Beach there's going to be more work on that definitely within like three or four weeks within the month because in the next two weeks I think the After Dark pa expansion pack comes out, so we'll definitely when the expansion come, pack comes out we'll definitely be working on more ideas into Long Beach and start utilizing hopefully the beach area um, yeah so that's it with the beautiful city skyline at the back guys remember hit that subscribe button if you're a new viewer um, don't forget to leave a like don't forget to leave a comment on potential suggestions as well and just general ideas of le letting me know of what you like about the city what you don't like uh, all criticism is welcome as well it helps me improve my game as well as other people's games because others will also see it um, also, please don't forget to share. The more people that get to see this, the more people hopefully can learn and 
help them with their cities as well, uh, especially if they're playing on hard level, um, to show that it is possible. So, yeah, I can't get enough of this skyline. I don't want to go away. I just want to keep this as you know a picture. I might actually take the screenshot of this and post it up on the Facebook page. Um, speaking of Facebook, also if you haven't guys seen below, I've got a link to the Priest U Urban Design Skylines uh, Facebook page, directly linking uh, any. Uh, or progress that I'm actually making whether I'm away or whether I am recording or when I'm recording so that you guys can stay up to date of when you can expect uh, further episodes and other things other goodies um, that's coming up on the YouTube channel because I don't have strict days when I'm actually releasing videos so it just helps you guys stay a little bit more in the loop so don't forget to follow that and you'll definitely be uh, well, you'll definitely know when uh, future episodes will be coming out. So, yeah, that's it for now, guys. Um, really sorry for the long episode. And uh, for those that don't like the long episodes, but I hope you guys that like the long episodes have really enjoyed this one. And, yeah, for now, guys, I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye for now.